All right, tech enthusiasts, let's talk about Logitech International SA and why it's making waves today. If you've ever used a mouse, a webcam, or a gaming headset, there's a pretty good chance you've encountered Logitech products. They're a big player in the tech accessories game, and their latest quarterly report is making headlines. So, what's the buzz all about? Well, Logitech just released their fiscal second quarter numbers, and while the company posted some solid figures, investors didn't exactly break out the party hats. Despite reporting an impressive revenue spike, up 6% to hit a cool $1.2 billion, topping both year-ago numbers and analyst estimates, a different narrative unfolded in the stock market. Shares of Logitech nosedived by around 8.5%. Why the plunge, you ask? Eh, it's all about investor expectations. Although Logitech beat earnings predictions and even revised their full-year guidance upwards from the previously expected range, it still wasn't the sunny forecast investors were hoping for. The revised revenue outlook landed in the range of $4.39 to $4.47 billion, just shy of analyst expectations sitting around $4.51 billion. It's like planning a barbecue but forgetting to invite the sun. Now let's zoom in a bit on the specifics. Logitech's gaming segment, always a fan favorite, saw a 7% increase while their keyboards and combos pushed up by 8%. Impressively, their new segmentification, bye-bye to audio and wearable and mobile speakers, hello headsets, showcased a broad demand. While their video collaboration unit climbed 5%, those gnarly webcams didn't play along, declining by 9%. Oh, but it's not all sweaty palms and sell-offs. The company's adjusted gross margin shifted to a strapping 44.1%, up from 42% a year ago, thanks primarily to lower product costs, which sounds like CFO music to any CEO's ears, right? Speaking of their cash reserves, Logitech's cash and cash equivalents stood at a hefty $1.36 billion, while they flexed shareholder kindness by returning $340 million through share repurchases and dividends. To paint the broader picture, the market might be a tad off today, potentially dampening investor moods. Hanukkah Faber, Logitech's CEO, elaborated that the problem isn't the result, but perhaps the timing. They've lined up some proficiency-packed innovations ready to pounce, just in time for the holiday shopping frenzy. Looking at the bigger picture, if you were hunting for value-driven stocks, consistently delivering single-digit growth with the perks of a decent dividend yield, Logitech still checks those boxes. The lower stock price today could be viewed as an opportunity for investors looking to nab shares at a bargain. So there you have it, folks. Logitech took a tumble today, but perhaps it's just a speed bump, not a brick wall, as they say. Keep your eyes peeled, though. Tech stocks have been known to change moods quicker than you can say, wireless mouse. Thanks for watching to the end. Remember, this is just one story from our full daily show, which includes all the other news and an analysis of the day's tech market activity. If you found this video interesting or insightful, then please like, subscribe, and share it with others. Your support is greatly appreciated. Catch you later.